Okay. Okay. Right. So we screwed up on the blue ones completely. So what we've done is left the red ones in, in the water for yeah. at least five minutes. Yep. Yeah. And now we're going to try and do it on my ones without ripping the crap out of them. I don't know why they split. They've never done a few of these before and they've just not ripped. I think I'll give that a few more minutes. Let me try getting one of the smaller ones on. Let's have a look. So I did buy these from a different supplier that I don't normally get them from because I usually get them on, on the Bay of E but from Hong Kong and this was someone in the UK. So I'm just, assuming they're the same things. Well, there you go. It just goes to show. If you want the good stuff, get it from Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> if you want rubbish, buy it from the UK. No, <laughs> not really. I find that putting putting your fingers down the inside oh. and I think what we're gonna to have to do is buy these from the place I got them before because these ones just don't want to stretch which is really weird they just don't want to stretch I don't think I could flip this inside out without ripping it They've already poked a hole in this one, but it hasn't gone all the way through yet. Come on, you bugger. Oh my goodness. How can something so strong rip so easily. Hmm. Okay, get in there, get in there. Plop. See, I put a hole in it. Hmm. What if I put that hole on the leaf? The cut. Okay. And now try and slide it over itself. Yeah, see, I'm not sure that that's going to work. No, I don't think that's going to work either. I think that was a fruitless waste of time. And now I've got to get it back the other way. <laughs> up the more I you manipulate them the softer it's getting see it will go but I can't get it on and my fingers ah it just ripped but it might be a case of just manipulating it and manipulating it no. see I reckon that it needs to be in much much hotter water yeah Thumb's going to go right through no, that. Went through it. <laughs> right, we're giving this up as a bad idea. What I'll have to do is get them from another supplier and tell them these ones ripped to buggery. Who knows? They might pay me back. They might not. So listen, these just didn't go on a seven-eighth handlebar without ripping to buggery. All right, but the small ones have gone on. Small ones have gone on. Yeah. Which is more than they did on my bike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. One of the larger ones hasn't been done yet, has it? No. Right, can I make a suggestion? What's that then? Before you moor that one as well, yeah. let's go inside, 
and soak that in really hot water okay. and see if it softens it up. All right. So, all right, we'll be back when it's hopefully softened up. up. Uh, how do you turn this off? The same button you started it with. Oh. Okay, right. yeah. That didn't work. That didn't work. We put them in the hot water and that made it even worse because they've just more or less disintegrated. So um, I'll have to go back to the purpose of I got them from before, but that means going to Hong Kong and they take ages in the post. So we won't be doing those for a month. And uh, I'll be going on the Bay of E and saying, hey dude, I've got two choices. You know, you can either pay us back or get some negative feedback because they, they, they just ripped really simply. And the thing is that I've done it three times before on three different bikes and there wasn't an issue. So there's obviously an issue with that brand I got from. But, um, you know, oh well, stay tuned. <laughs> and um, I'll see you next time when we get them. Um, we'll be doing my bike tomorrow on adjusting the... Um, the gear change so I might film that don't know we'll see we'll see I've also got the bar to put on so we might be filming that as well the bar that I don't know the name of all right see you later <laughs>